What up, players? It's Warboss Tay up in this mood. Um, this is a little Warboss Tay studio update. I've got here a Savage Orc that I painted up um, using the new colors. Um, mostly, mostly the new colors. I think I might have used Calvin Brown. But um, I'm trying to trying to work out a color scheme for the new colors so people can follow my my tutorials a little bit better. But um, let me know if you'd like to see a Savage Orc painting tutorial for a regular Savage Orc, not one of these kinds of savage orcs that dance around like silly crazy Rastafarian singers man. Um, <clears throat> I had so much fun with this guy. I really, really enjoyed painting a porch egg. Let's see what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, some of you who haven't seen it yet, check out my um, Oster marker pistolier. Um, this is the latest video I just put out really recently and um, over the weekend. And let's see, coming up, coming up, what is coming up? I've got a bunch of these guys that I might do a tutorial on. Death Core of Krieg. So here's my test model. You might have remembered seeing him make a little cameo appearance. I don't even remember what video it was, but kind of popped in for, for a second. Um, and so that's how he looks. And I also painted up just about. I didn't paint the rim of the base yet, but I just kind of finished the base. This guy, a Death Rider of Krieg. Um, I got most of my Krieg models done um, or traded in and these nice, nice resin bases. I think this is one that I bought, but I'm trying to get my my Krieg collection together uh, just because love Forge World, love the Death Core fluff and, and all that stuff and just, ooh, this guy's so cool. I think I read in the, the book, the uh, Imperial Armor Siege of Vrax book, that the horses are made to, they're like genetically bred together to look like, and to be, but to be better than the, the horses on Earth. Ancient Earth equestrian horses. So they give them like respirators so that they can read in toxic environments and um, they boost their metabolism and their immune system. They feed them drugs to make them not afraid in battle. And uh, with these, Death Corps guys on top of their backs, they very much look like World War I uh, cavalry guys, officers, like um, War Horse, I'm thinking War Horse, especially with these trenches. I think this one I got from uh, a friend of mine locally, and um, I bought a, a large number of his stuff for for a very nice price. Just goes to show you, you know, if you have like stuff like Barter Town or Trades or um, in your local area, then you can probably pick up a lot of great stuff for cheap or for, for not retail price. Um, but then at the same time, I don't know, because you know we want to support our local businesses and give our hobby stores money, but I don't know, to each his own. Time is times are hard. So what I love about Death Core is their you know their respirator masks, their story, their fluff. And when I heard this guy this local guy had this Death Corps army that he was willing to unload and I, I, I did my research, I took what he was charging and um, I kind of researched it and I was like, oh, it's such a good deal and um, the guy needed the money for, uh, I think for his apartment he said at the time but it's just kind of been sitting around in my in my house not really doing anything so lately I decided, well, what what if I try painting him up, you know, see what see what, what people think of it. So let me know what you think. Is it worth it for me to continue? These are just my test models. Most of them that I got in the um, transaction, we'll call it, with with my friend locally are on these resin bases. I'm not even sure if I remember where these resin bases come from, but they're all kind of like in these trenches, trench works kind of bases. And um, I really like them. They really evoke the feel of the, the death core. Uh, Siege warfare trench trench guys. I might even do a. I don't know. Let me what. Let me know what you think. If you think I should do an unboxing on all of the the models that I got, because they also. Let me show you what else just off the top of my head that I've got nearby. This really nice looking bigger base with uh, oops bigger artillery base with sandbags and stuff. It's really nice. Ah! Lewis! Your cell phone's going off. 
Oh, it must be the fly honeys from the club. Liz, how many times have I told you you have to put your phone on silent when I'm recording? Don't talk to me like I'm a little kid, Warboss Tay. I'm a grown necromancer. I'm gonna wave my arms and make you do the dance macabre again. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lewis. So, these are really cool. Um, and uh, the trench bases, I think, are really awesome. Resin trench bases. Here's the model that goes on top of it. Last cannon. So, um, let me know if you might be interested in doing a unboxing. It's another one. Trench base. Crewman for a heavy weapons team. Love the Death Corps of Creed. And like I said, I've got a bunch of them now. So, just wanted to do a test model, see how it turns out. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think, if you might be interested. Also, coming up, this is the main thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Before I do that though, Commissar! This is the main thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Coming up in June, I would like to put the offer out there. And I, I think, I think I said um, I want to see who might be interested in joining me in a project Night Lords, but what I really meant was just doing an army project. So, um, I want to know from you guys out in the community who would be interested in doing an army project with me. Oh, look at that horrible. I gotta really redo that freehand. I think it was very late when I did that. It's like a cyclops. Anyways, um, for me, I would like to do Night Lords because I've got a couple of them painted up and I figured out this, I did this guy with all the new colors, so I, I figured out a color scheme for him. I think he looks pretty much like what a Night Lord Space Marine would look like. And um, let's see, he kind of matches my older Night Lords. Let me show you a Raptor guy that I have. They kind of, they kind of look pretty, pretty much the same. Yeah, I think. And also, let's also put out a Terminator with lightning claws. <laughs> Sorry, I've got a bunch of lint and stuff. So, I just didn't base this raptor. So, I'll, I'll leave these guys out and um, I'm going to put the challenge right now. What I'd like to do is, for the month of June, do uh, like my Project Dwarfs, my Project Ogre Kingdoms, Oh, speaking of which, I have so much more stuff to do for Ogre Kingdoms. Oh, so much, so much stuff. <laughs> so much miniatures to paint. <laughs> um, anyways, but yeah, what I'd like to do is uh, come up with a list, get some models together, and just um, try to build and paint every day, kind of like a project. Pretty much, yeah, it's pretty much going to be like a project, and uh, we'll be delving each day into a little bit of the fluff, and a little bit of um, painting techniques, and um, tips and tricks for anybody who might be interested in painting these models as well so um, yeah if you're interested if you've got like some spare guys lying around if or if you have an army that you play with that you haven't even started painting yet or maybe you've only got them primered up and you want to actually start painting them then join up we are gonna be starting in June 1st and um, I would love it if you if you guys joined up with me and made a made an army list of your own, came up with uh, you know your own guidelines and your own goals and whatever, and then um, we work every day. We kind of motivate each other, keep it going, stuff like that. So, so that's the plan for me in June, Project Night Lords, starting June first, and we'll see how much I do because June is going to be a busy month for me as well. But. Um, I've got some Chaos Space Marine models lying around that would love to have some paint on them. And I'm sure all of us, all of you guys out there, have in your in your backlog a whole bunch of stuff to do. So, why, why Night Lords? I don't know. They're interesting. The new book came out. Love it. Looks awesome. I love their fluff. And, um, yeah, it could be any, any, any army you want, though. doesn't even have to be 40k, uh, because I don't really play any much, uh, any, any more, very much anyways. So I, um, yeah, basically come up with an army, 
I'm probably gonna start with maybe like a battle force or something like that and um, just kind of build and paint and make video updates every day so yeah jump on board I'm still gonna be trying in my spare time to uh, continue the tour of the Empire and continue painting up all the other stuff and building and unboxing and doing everything else that I've got on my backlog but um, I think Project Night Lords is gonna be a fun little endeavor where we can concentrate on you know one one army for a month. I remember when I did my project Dark Eldar, my project Dwarves, my project Blood Angels. All of those are really fun and motivating. And it's great, I think, for the community to see you every day checking in. I love looking at projects, watching daily projects of other people. So um, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Can't wait to do it. Let me know if you're interested, come along. And when I start, then um, you, know, you can make some video responses to mine. Um, jump on board and we can get really excited about you know painting and churning out good products that you're gonna be proud of to put on the table. I think that's the goal right of every war gamer out there is um, you want your models to look as good as possible just like the white dwarves and stuff out there so so let's do it jump on board uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Hey you night lords! Get off my lawn!